Hey everyone, this is Andrew with an AWS tutorial series on using Lambda with Node.js. In this tutorial series, I'll walk you through creating and testing your first Lambda function, as well as some of the features of Lambda. And the code that we'll be working with today is all in my GitHub repository for easy access, and I'll link that in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll click Get Started Now, and we're not going to use one of the blueprints that they have selected since we have some custom code, so we'll click Skip. We're going to go ahead and click Next here. And we're going to name our Lambda function and we're going to give it a description. And in this case, our runtime is going to be Node.js, but you could very well do Java or Python. So we're not going to edit any code in line. Instead, we're going to use what I have in my repository and we're going to upload a zip file. So remember, when you're uploading your zip files, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to compress all of the files in the folder itself. You're not going to want to compress the folder because when it's uploaded, it's not going to unpack properly. So what we'll do is we're going to select all four of these files, including the node modules, and we will archive that and upload that to Lambda. Now that we have our archive, we're going to upload this to Lambda and it will unpack it for us. The next thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to change our handler. So in this case, it's going to be file name dot the export name. So in this case, we are, our file is called lambda.js and our function here is called RSS. And what we're going to be doing in this function is we're going to be pulling in the Amazon EC2 RSS feed and displaying some information on it. So again, it is the file name and it is the function name uh, of what you want to try to call for this particular Lambda function. The role that we're going to select is basic execution. Since we're going to be running this not in a VPC, uh, we can just run with basic execution. The memory is going to be fine here at 128 megabytes. And our timeout is just in case the function takes too long to just exit out. And in this case, three seconds is going to be fine. And we're not going to select a VPC here because that gets a little bit too complicated for this tutorial. And there's a lot of things that you'll need to set up within your VPC. And so we're going to go ahead and click create function. Now that our function is created, you can see this is the place where we upload new zip files of our code. Inside of our configuration, we can change the runtime, we can change our handler, things like that. We can change the amount of memory that we need for this function. Inside of triggers, this is going to be if you want to use something like API Gateway. Um, so you can create a trigger within Lambda to link up to an API Gateway endpoint, which is really nice. Next, we have monitoring. And here you can see how many times that this Lambda function has been invoked, how long it's taken, and if there's been any errors. So now what we want to do is we want to test this Lambda function. And here we can just use a sample Hello World. We can click Save and Test. And like I said, this is pulling the Amazon RSS feed for US East 1. And what it's doing is it's displaying that message that service is operating normally. And you can see here at the log output that I've got some console logs in there. Uh, that are displaying the information uh, from this RSS feed. So if we jump over to this RSS feed, we can see that I'm pulling that latest title right there. Service is operating normally, increased API error rates. If we jump over to monitoring, you can see that I've invoked this one time. It took around eight to 900 milliseconds to complete. And the thing about the duration of the invocation is those are going to go down when you call the function more frequently. So you can see it took a little bit of time to, uh, to run this function, but as you run these more and more, uh, that duration is going to go down. So that concludes our tutorial on using Amazon Lambda. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below, and please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.